<laughs> so many unanswered questions now. And one man who knows just what Robert of Capable is, of course, Ryan Hawley, who plays the troubled character. He joins us now. Good morning to you. Good morning. So it's all out. What's going to happen now, then? Well, if I told you that, then I can't be giving the game away. But, um, yeah, uh, as you've seen there, uh, Paddy has, uh, has confided in Aaron and told him that uh, Robert has revealed that he had some involvement in, in the accident that happened last week at yeah. the farm. So Aaron is now convinced that, that Robert had some more involvement in Katie's death than what he's told him. So Aaron hatches this plan to, to get Robert alone in isolation and get a confession out of him that he can record and then take to the police and, and finally make Robert pay for, for, for all the nasty things he's been doing. But it doesn't quite go according to plan. Unfortunately for Aaron, not. But, um, you know, uh, I can't really tell you where oh. that all goes, but... Um, He's going to have to watch. Robert's going to be faced with a dilemma where he has to either let Aaron reveal his, his secret affair to everyone in the village or he's going to have to take drastic action and, um, and yeah. And judging on past experience, we kind of know which one of those it might be, don't exactly, we? Exactly, yeah. Because <laughs> you have uh, had a lot of support, haven't you, for the Robert-Aaron relationship from viewers and things. Why, why is that? Because it's a secret affair. I, I know it's, it's, weird it's that immoral. People see it but as a positive thing, don't they? I think um, I, I don't. I'm not 100 percent sure why everyone's so uh, so positive about it. But it's it's a fantastic thing to have such a such a following and a fan base. And and when you come into a show and you can be a bit kind of nervous about things, it's lovely. It's a, it's to have that support. Mm. What's the reaction from people though when you know if they see you on the street or something? Do you do you get any people yelling at you saying, "Oh, you're you know such a bad boy" or "You're <laughs> so nasty"? Sometimes a few people say things, but it's all kind of it's light-hearted and it's all positive for the for the majority of it. Um, I mean, no one's ever kind of come up to me. Well, I, I don't know. Maybe I'm tempting fate here, <laughs> but no one's ever come up to me and attacked me in the yeah. street, uh, and I hope they don't. But um, but yeah, everyone's everyone's very very supportive and very complimentary usually. So yeah. We've been talking about messy teenage bedrooms this morning. Are you <laughs> quite good? Because I bet those dressing rooms, there's so much going on. It's so busy, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I'm actually in the dressing the room. I'm, I'm in the dressing room with all the young guys. So Kelvin Fletcher, Danny Miller, um, uh, Joe Gill, Mike Parr. Um, it is a bit untidy from time to time, and there are certain people who have a very untidy desk. I can't say names because I will get punished for it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but you a few don't pranksters think, as well. You don't so, think yeah. you're the worst? Oh, no. Well, actually, I looked at my, my dressing room yesterday, my table, and it does look like it could do with a clean, yeah. Does it? Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> look, we don't... Well, did you guys instinctively know the right moment to call it a day? Uh, I think we knew. It was a hard thing to come by, but I think we knew because it was, uh, you know, we had five, six, seven years of just great success.